Optic is a super lightweight C++ profiler profiler for games. In this video, we are going to take a quick look at the features which Optic provides for efficient performance analysis and optimization. Start from downloading the latest available version of Optic from release section on GitHub. Uncompress the downloaded archive and launch Optic executable. Go back to Explorer and navigate to the samples folder. Run console app, a sample console project which emulates running game with Optic integration. Press Start Profiling Session button to begin a new capture. Wait for a couple of seconds and press Stop to finish the capture. Optic GUI consists of three major sections. At the top of the window you could find the list of frames collected during the capture. Click on any of these frames to focus thread timeline view on this frame. Use mouse wheel to zoom the view. Pressing right mouse button allows you to scroll the view horizontally. Selecting any function on the timeline populates the bottom section of the window with some extra information for the function. Chart at the bottom of the screen represents total accumulated time per frame for the selected function across all the threads. Click on any of the spikes to highlight them on the timeline. Tree view and summary table provides aggregated view for the currently selected block. Tree view also visualizes all the custom data tags attached to the functions, which is an extremely useful feature for analysis of the data-driven systems. You could also add any custom attachments to captures. Screenshots, graphic settings, memory statistics are just a few examples. You could find any function in the capture by pressing Ctrl F and typing the name of the function. When the function is selected, Optic will automatically focus on the most expensive call. Let's grab a fresh capture and take a look at the more advanced features. Optic uses event tracing for Windows under the hood to collect kernel-level events with the minimum possible overhead. However, kernel sessions require admin privileges, so let's quickly restart our game sample as administrator to unlock access to the extended feature set. If you run your game from Visual Studio, just run Visual Studio as administrator. Kernel sessions provide Optic access to the three major group of events – switch contexts, system calls, and auto-sampling. Let's start from switch contexts. This type of events happens every time an operation system decides to switch from one thread to another on any of the cores. Full history of switch contexts allow Optic to build CPU core utilization chart. Click on the Expand button to see the detailed breakdown of all the processes running on each core. At any given moment during the capture, we know exactly how many cores were occupied by our process, green color in the chart, and other processes, red color. This feature is extremely useful for identifying parts of the frame which could benefit from better multi-threading and filtering out false positive spikes related to the temporary high activity in the operation system. Optic differentiates two types of switch contexts. First is user-controlled synchronization sleep, wait for event, etc. Second is system controlled preemption. If thread was sleeping, you'll see a thin red bar at the top of the thread for the duration of the sleep. Any preemption is represented with pink color. Hold control and click with left mouse button on any of the preemption intervals to see the exact reason for the switch context and to get name of the thread which you scheduled instead. Let's move on to the next feature, which is called auto-sampling. Optic uses kernel sessions to sample a call stack from each thread every millisecond. Click on Show Call Stacks button to view all the collected call stacks on the timeline. Hold Ctrl and click with your left mouse button on any of the red diamonds to see the full call stack collected at this timestamp. You could also get an aggregated view of all the call stacks collected for any selected function across all the frames during the capture. Just select Function Flame Graph tab to combine all the call stacks together. Auto sampling is extremely useful for understanding where exactly we spend time for any selected function. You could also use a special tree view control under Function Call Stacks tab to get a bit more details about aggregated call stacks. Right click on any of the functions and select Show Source Code from the context menu to see per line distribution of the samples within selected function. A couple of hundreds of call stacks are usually enough to get quite accurate distribution of the cost. However, if you don't have enough samples for your function, you could easily increase sampling frequency from the settings before taking a capture. Maximum sampling frequency depends on the platform. On Windows, for example, you could get up to 8 call stacks per milliseconds frequency. But keep in mind that the higher sampling frequency you use, the more overhead you get. So use high frequency mode only for a relative comparison. 
Let's take a closer look at the source view control. On the left side there are two columns. The first one shows how many call stacks passed through the current line. The second one shows how many of these call stacks actually ended up on this particular line. Think of these numbers as an approximate total and self time. Auto sampling is an extremely powerful feature. There is no need to jump between instrumentation and sampling modes anymore. Opti provides access to both of them within the same capture. This mode is also crucial for performance analysis of the spikes. Having a call stack every millisecond makes sure that you get all the information you need once you get a capture. No need to waste time on adding extra counters to narrow down the problem, recompiling the game and reproducing the spike again. Optic also collects all the system calls. Make sure that sys calls are enabled from the drop down menu and click on show call stacks button. Each yellow marker on the timeline is an individual sys call. Hold Ctrl and click with left mouse button on any of them to view the call stack. That's the end of our quick tutorial. If you enjoyed this video and you have some friends who might find Optic useful, please share this video with them.